Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to convert this power supplier that was intended to be used with my 3D printer into a power supplier that is going to work with your chargers. These are my chargers and in order to do so we will need three things. First of all the power supply. The working voltage of this power supply is either 110 or 220 volts and the output is adjustable. I'm going to set it up on 12 volts. You're going to need this power plug, of course, depends where you're from. I'm going to use this one. This is the Israeli standard one. And you're going to need 5.5 on 2.1 millimeter plug. You can either use one that you have at home or of course you can buy one. I'm going to put links in the description to all of these items. Before you start, make sure that the Adop the adapter fits your charger, otherwise you can buy a different one. Over here we have three colors. This one is the ground and then we have live and neutral. And we are going to connect it over here to live, neutral and the ground. Now because this is alternate current, it doesn't matter which these colors are going to be connected to. The only thing that is matters is that the ground is going to be connected to the ground. So let's start by exposing these wires. Now we need to release these screws and to connect the correct wires. So as we said earlier, the ground is going over here to the ground. Now that we're done, I'm going to connect it to a power source and then I'm going to check that the voltage is 12 voltage as we expect. Now, because we are dealing with electricity, you have to be careful, don't touch these wires, make sure you're in a safe environment and be careful and do it with the grown up. I don't recommend anybody's under 18 or it's not responsible to do it, so it's on your own risk and I'm not taking any responsibility for the outcome if you're using this video. So I plugged it, we can see here that the LED indicator is turned on and now I'm going to check what is the out voltage. You can see over here we have three plus, plus volt, plus volt, plus volt and this one are the minus. So let's check it out. You can see right now it's 12.45 volt and if you want to adjust it you can use a screwdriver and turn this so let's set it on 12 volt so on the right it will turn it up so now it's 12 volt just a little bit more so now it's 1205 volts it's going to be okay so next thing we need to do is to, to connect this power jack once you uncover this wire, this is the ground and this is the plus and the plus is going to be the plus is located here in the center and this is the ground. So let's connect it up and make sure that you disconnect this from the electricity before you start doing it. You don't want to electrocute yourself. Okay, so I've connected everything up and we're going to check it again that inside is the plus and the outside is the minus. So let's plug it in. Okay, so let's test it out. So the inside is the plus and the outside is the minus. And you can see, maybe I can actually, you can see that it is 12 or 6 volts. So let's test it with the charger. Now you can see, for example, this charger works 10 to 18 volts, so 12 is okay. So let's connect it and you can see it's working fine. So finally I would like to tell you again that be careful and if you feel uncomfortable working with electricity maybe let somebody else do it for you and you can also buy this kind of adapter which is ready to go and cost almost the same price but if you have something like that lying around and you want to use it this is my tutorial. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you do, hit the like button and share it with your friends and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.